Hello everyone, this is another video, second video in this uh, MCQ discussion series of uh, LR statics. Okay. So we had discussed up till uh, up to I think number 20 now. So number 21. The value of electric potential at a distance uh, 5, uh, sorry, what is this? At a distance uh, 5 i cap meter from the origin where E is equal to electric field is given minus 3 i cap. So, electric potential you have to find at a distance of I think 5 meters only, 5 meter. Okay, so how will you find it? How will you find it? See, electric field is what? We did in the last class minus dv by dx. So, electric field is given minus 3. This is minus dv by dx. Okay, at a distance of 5 meter. So, dx is 5. So, I can write it as 3 is equal to minus minus cancel dv by 5. So, dv will be how much? 15. Okay. Isn't it? D will be 15 volts. Your answer is 15 volts is not there. So minus 15 volt, suppose I think minus 15 volt. Okay. If 15 is not there, so it will be minus 15 only. Okay. Okay. Next question. Mm. Which of the following instruments proves the condition of a surface which is equipotential? So equipotential surface, which of the following instrument uh, gives us? Equipotential surface will be given by uh, I think voltmeter. I think voltmeter because voltmeter gives you the value of voltage. Okay. So yeah, I think voltmeter. Yeah. Angle between equipotential line and lines of forces. Equipotential line, lines of force. This is 90 degree. Okay. For example, this is a positive charge here. Equipotential surface will be spherical. Whereas the lines of force will be like this, straight. So the angle will be always 90 degree. Okay. 5 coulomb of charge moves on the surface of a charge conductor. Charge conductor is there. 5 coulomb of charge is moving. Where potential is, okay, coulomb charge is 5 coulomb. Potential is how much? 8 volt. So the work done in moving, work done in moving plus 3 coulomb of charge on his surface. Okay. So see, this is a poten equipotential surface, first of all. Equipotential surface, because 8 volt is everywhere 8 volt. So on an equipotential surface, the work done is how much? It's 0. Okay. How? How 0? How 0? See, this is an equipotential surface, 8 volt here. So, 8 volt will also be here, right? So, what done is how much? Va minus Vv by charge Q. Okay, change in potential by Q. So, what is Va here? 8 minus 8 by whatever charge is there, 3 coulomb we are moving, whatever. Answer will always be 0. So, you can write what? What done on an equipotential surface? What done on an equipotential surface is what? Always zero. Okay. Yeah. All right. Next question. How many start volts are one volt? You do this one. This is in your books. Okay. Start volt, amp volt, start ampere, R ampere. Okay. These are everything in your book. And in your notes, so you try this one. How many half volts are in one volt? This one also. You try. Okay, these two I want to see. Which of the following represent a unit of potential gradient? I told you yesterday what is potential gradient. Remember in the previous class, potential gradient. Potential gradient is what? It's actually what? It is electric field. Electric field is called potential gradient. Anything we divide by d by dx is your gradient. Gradient, okay. It's also written like this. Okay, but it's not in your 
So minus du by dx is one electric field. So electric field is your potential gradient. Its unit is what? Newton per coulomb or volt per meter. See, this is volt. This is meter. So volt per meter. Okay. Yeah. So volt Newton per coulomb will be right answer here. Volt meter no, not volt. Newton per coulomb. Okay. An electron is accelerated through a potential difference of two hundred volts. Potential difference is given 200 volts. If E by m for the electron is this one, velocity required by an acquired by an electron will be velocity of an electron. Okay, velocity is asked. Potential is given. See, see accelerator potential V is given. Velocity is asked. So we know kinetic energy of an electron is E V no. Okay, kinetic energy is half m v square is equal to e v naught. Okay, so we are asked velocity. So velocity will be if we take this side two e v naught by m. Okay, now velocity will be how much? Root over of two e v naught by m. E by m is given, isn't it? In the question, see, e by m is given one point six into this. V is there two hundred. So, e by m is given. V is your two hundred. So just put the value and get the answer. All right, that will be the way to solve. Yeah, twenty eight gone. Now twenty nine. This one is cut. Okay, anyway, thirty. Potential due to a dipole and the distance center are related as. And distance what? This one is also cut. Okay. In identical uh, oil drops, each a capacity are charged to potential V1. Each drop has a radius R1 and have charge Q1. All the end drops coalesce to form a larger drop of radius. Charge Q2, potential V, our capacity C2. Then R2 by R1 is equal to Q2 by Q1. Sorry, R2 by R1 is how much? Q2 by Q1 is how much? First, you read the question for two minutes. Okay, you can pause the video. And read the question for two minutes. Otherwise, there is no point. In identical oil drops, each of capacity this, this, this. Each drop has a radius r. All the end drops coalesce to form a large drop. So, this is a small drop with radius r. So, small drops are mixing up together to form a bigger sphere. Of radius, suppose what is it given? Each drop has a radius r. Large has a radius of r1 or r1. This is r2. Okay. Small drop has radius r1. This one has a radius r2. So we can say the volume of this one. For example, there are n spheres. N spheres. Volume of one sphere is how much? Four by three pi r cube, pi r one cube, yeah r one. Volume of n spheres will be volume of n spheres n into four by three pi r r one cube, which is equal to what? Which is equal to the bigger sphere? Okay. So four by three pi r two cube is equal to n into four by three pi r r one cube. How? These are the small cubes. In small cubes, if I multiply, they will give me the bigger cube, R2. So 4 by 3 pi R2 cube is equal to n into 4 by 3 pi R2. So this this cancelled. So R2 cube is equal to R1 n into R1 cube. Okay. So R2 by R1 whole cube is equal to n. Right. So R2 by R1 is how much? N to the power 1 by 3. See if this this is an option. R2 by R1 into the power 1 by 3. Yeah, this one is the into the power 1 by 3 here. Okay, I think this one is the option because this is 2 by 3, and this is 1. This is I think this is also 2 by 3. So only 1 by 3 will be the option. Isn't it? We don't need to calculate the other one. Okay, yeah. Next is in small drops of mercury, each of same value. 
potential of the needle okay each of the same value size are charged to v volts the mercury drop squarely is to form single large drop same thing potential of the new drop this one you calculate because potential of the new drop is r this one you calculate because i did the previous one so you did do this one okay again this one also you do this is a homework 32 33 okay two identical capacitors each of what is this capacitor c are joined in series in parallel c is represent the series group capacitor c to represent the parallel group okay see what happens i will just tell you the concept of capacitor capacitor what happens in capacitor is what capacitors for example capacitors are in parallel so what will happen the c equivalent will be simply added if they are in series they will be what c1 c2 into divided by c1 plus c2 okay this is parallel connection this is series connection this is exactly the opposite of resistance thing okay resistance if they are in series they will be added if they are in parallel they will be done this way okay so yeah so that way you can solve this question see two identical capacitors identical means same capacitors they have the same capacitor c c are joined in series okay joined in series and then in parallel okay then in parallel so c1 represents the series group capacitors okay c1 will be how much c into c by c plus c isn't it this will be c by 2 then c to the parallel group parallel parallel will be how much 2c okay so the c1 by c2 c1 by c2 just put it c1 we got as c by 2 c c2 we got as 2c okay c is cancelled so this is 1 by 2 by 2 that is 1 by 4 okay i'm doing this really fast because i assume that you have done this uh, questions before because it's a very simple questions Okay, I'm not going to take too much time on them. I hope I understood this one. Again, what is asked exactly? If two identical capacitors are in parallel first or in series first, C C, then in parallel. So C equivalent you have to calculate for parallel, and C equivalent you have to calculate for series. Then just take the ratio. That's it. Okay. Thirty-four one, thirty-five. Two identical capacitors of a capacitor C one potential difference B one charge Q one energy W one connected in series. The new values of C two V two W two. Okay. Identical capacitors C one. Uh, what? C one potential difference V one. Okay. Two identical capacitors of C one. And uh, B one charge Q one energy W are connected in series. The new values are C two V two Q two W two. Which of the following equation pair is correct? C this is in series connection, right? What happens in series connection is charge remains constant. Okay, charge remains constant. Why? Because for example, this is a wire. This is a battery. So whatever charge is coming, it will go through the both of the capacitors. Okay, charge. Charge will remain same in series. Okay, but potential will remain same in parallel. Remember this. In series, Q is constant. In parallel, in case of resistance, I is constant. Okay, I constant, current constant. In parallel connection. Potential difference is constant. So here, what is the answer? Q one is equal to Q two. Q one is equal to Q two. Q two is equal to Q one. Yeah. But capacitance will not be same. So this is what one by two, one by two. No. On. Yeah, it will be one by two. C two will be one by two of C one. How? Because these are connected in. a uh, series 
So if they are in series, if you see, C equivalent will be C into C by C plus C, that is C square by 2 C, that is C by 2. So see, C 1 by 2, that means C by 2, I think, and Q 2 by Q 1, okay, this one also. All right, yeah, are you getting it? Hmm? Two identical capacitors, this, this, this. Okay, this is in parallel. This one, you do it. Parallel, what happens? As I said, potential difference will remain same. Isn't it? So, V1 will be V2. Okay. And uh, capacitance will be what? C, C. So, it will be doubled. Capacitance will be doubled. C, doubled. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See, capacitance is doubled here. So, potential is remaining constant. Okay. Potential should be constant. Potential is what? Q by C. V is what? Q by C. So, if C is being doubled to C, so what will I do with Q so that V dash will remain constant? I will multiply 2 also here in Q. So, charge will also be doubled. If capacitance is doubled, charge will be doubled. To what? To keep V constant because V is constant in parallel connection. We just did here. V is constant in parallel connection. So if my capacitance is changing to 2C1, my charge will also change to 2C1, 2Q1. Why? Because V is equal to Q by C. If V dash is equal to Q by 2C, so this one will also become 2Q. So charge is doubled, capacitance is doubled. Okay. The area of the capacitor plays a doubled, separation between them is halved. The capacitor is found to change from C1 to C2. Read the question first. You please read and pause it for two minutes and then see my answer. Otherwise, if you don't try yourself, then there is no point. Area of the capacitor plates are doubled. So A2 is becoming 2A1. Separation D2 is becoming D1 by 2. Halved. Capacity is found to change. Okay, I will do it here. Area is doubled. Distance is becoming half. So, new capacitance will be how much? See, what is the formula for capacitance first of all? Epsilon naught A by D. So, C1 by C2 if I write. Epsilon naught A1 by D1 by Epsilon naught A2 by D2. Okay. So, A1 by D1 into, I will I will take this up, upside, D2 by D A2, A1 by D1 is how much? C, if I write this, okay, okay, A1 by, I will write it, A1 by A2 into D2 by D1, okay, A1 by A2 into D2 by D1. Now, a2 is how much? 2A1. I will put it. 2A1. D2 is how much? D1 by 2. And this D1 is here. Cancelled. Cancelled. So 1 by 4. So what is 1 by 4? C1 by C2. So C1 by C2 is 1 by 4. So C2 is what? Cross multiply. 4C1. Okay. C2 by C1 is asked. We calculated what? C1 by C2. C1 by C2 is 1 by 4. So C2 by C1 will be 4. Okay. That is answer. You first try to solve yourself. Then only you see. Okay. Next. Farad per meter represents unit of which physical quantity? Try this one. Farad. Capacitance is farad. Elastance is not. Electric field is neutron per coulomb. So permittivity. Epsilon unit is farad per meter. Elastance is reciprocal of which quantity? Elastance. I don't think it's potential or elasticity or electric field. It's capacitance, I think. Okay. I'm not sure. Okay. You please check this one. Elastance is the uh, reciprocal of dash. Just check the internet elastance definition. Okay. I'm not sure about this one. Capacitance of an isolated. Sphere of radius 1 centimeter is. Okay. Sphere of radius. Okay. Capacitance formula for a sphere of radius R. Write down. Capacitance. 
for a sphere of radius r c is equal to 4 pi epsilon naught so if the radius is 1 centimeter so c will be how much hmm? 1 centimeter c the thing is if the if the things are in si unit in si unit value 1 by 4 pi epsilon is how much 9 into 10 to the power 9 in cgs unit the value 1 by 4 pi epsilon becomes 1 okay so this is 1 centimeter so this value is 1 isn't it so 1 into 1 that is 1 1 stat farad because farad is the si unit stat farad is the cgs unit so the answer is what 1 stat farad okay 1 centimeter radius of 1 centimeter centimeter is your cgs unit Okay, if it were given in meter, that would have been 1 by 4 pi epsilon would have been 9 into 10 to the power 9. But this is centimeter, CGS. So, value of 1 by 4 pi epsilon in CGS is 1. Okay, so if we put it here, that would be what? Yes. Okay. Next, capacitance between P and Q in the given figure is. Capacitance between P and Q in the given figure. See, these are all in parallel connection, not right parallel or series, but parallel connection. So, simple parallel connection. What do we do? You simply add them. So, 3C. Okay. Yeah. To 41, we did. So this much for this class uh, up to 41 we have done um, i think there are up to question number 88 okay it will take more two classes okay so yeah you if you have solved it solve them again okay and write the questions and solve them again that will really help you. okay that's it for today thank you very much